Low Lincoln Park, and we're celebrating our third annual Garden Walk today. It's Saturday, July 27th, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm Annette from the Lincoln Park Improvement Commission, and I'm also with the Lincoln Park Garden Club. So um, I do think that some things are early. All of the large orange lilies have bloomed, except these are still blooming because these are what they call a double petal lily. So they're a little bit different than the other ones that I have or that we have in this garden and maybe you have in your garden. That's why they're still blooming. And there's other lilies in here, but they may be done at this point. So again, like I said, we've been working on that one quadrant so hard. We may have not been getting to some of the maintenance of the rest of the garden, but these guys are troopers. I think they're all in it together that they're supporting to get this other garden. So they've been really good at living, thriving, even though they're not getting tended to the way I'd like. More hostas, we have a great assortment. Most of that what's in here has been donated to me or donated to the Lincoln Park Garden Club. I want to thank all those people. You know who you are. And a lot of it is this variety of hostas that people that have shade gardens have been so kind to donate. And then we've got some of this, I believe it's called carrot grass that just was put in last year. And we've got two of those there to bookend these hostas. Now, when you're a new gardener, you pretty much take whatever people give you, or maybe you can get on the clearance rack, or what I can get out of my own garden at home and just divide it. So that's a lot of what's in here, because we don't have a budget. So this is a good example of what you can do for free. Lots and lots and lots of hard work, many hours, but it's so rewarding, and it's a miracle that every spring all of this comes up. So we've got more work here. As you can see, we've got some beautiful big hostas, but we've got hostas. When we planted this five years ago, there's hostas under here, and there's a hosta back there. And the same thing over here. So in the fall, I mean, sorry, in the spring, I don't want to dig them up now because they look too nice and it would really, um, they would not look good when I put them back. But again, in the spring, I'm going to dig this up, probably cut it into four, put one piece back, and move some of these other plants so that they are spaced out a little bit better now that they're getting so mature. And this bush, I don't know the name, but it had flowers. And then it has these red berries. So it's always a nice addition to have some bushes that have berries to feed the animals. Okay. Did we already go through here? Yeah, we went through here. Okay. We just got to do this one. Okay. So again, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is the quadrant that I had not touched at all till the fall. And it was just one big mass of weeds. And some of these roses had totally populated most of this um, garden. And you might think that's good, but all of them were not, they were all sickly because they weren't getting enough sun or enough space. So I had some help and was able to dig up most of these. And as you can see, last fall, I put some plants in. My point is, I, try, I don't normally weed unless I have something to replace it. Because it's a waste of my time, because two weeks later, it'll be weeded again. So these are things that were planted in the fall. This is very new. I do want to show this off. This is what we call a moon flower. These are flowers that bloom at night. So since we have concerts here at the Banshell, I thought there's people here at night that would enjoy this. 
they bloom about seven o'clock at night and they're gonna this is probably around i don't know if it's 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning they're probably going to close up pretty soon and they only live for one day so when they're done i'm going to pull it off and as you can see we have plenty of other blooms and pretty much there should be at least one bloom open every day and that's another one there of the ones I put in last year, these two survived, but obviously I don't need that many when I've got something this beautiful. We've got some Joe Pie weed, and I want to remind everyone watching this that something new I learned that you might be interested in, um, that your pollinator flowers should be 10% in the spring, 40% in the summer, and 50% in the fall. I was really surprised about that because I had been planting for summer. But as the monarchs get ready to go to fly down south and birds and anybody who's leaving Michigan for the winter needs to have a lot of nutrition to eat and take with them on their journey. So like the Joe Pye weed will be blooming. You can see there's not even, I don't know if there's even buds on it yet that's normally a plant that would start blooming in September so you want to have some of those actually half of your garden should be plants that probably are blooming more August September so that they can and then obviously you're having more butterflies as they've procreated through the summer that there's probably your biggest swarms of butterflies in the um, August and September so I want to thank the Lincoln Park Historical Museum for partnering with us again. This is a benefit for them. I want to thank the Lincoln Park Community Improvement Commission for organizing this event and the Lincoln Park Garden Club who tends all the gardens at the Banshell. Please consider volunteering. All of this is done by volunteer. The organization of the Garden Walk, and the maintenance of these gardens at Memorial Park. G volunteer, don't be the problem, be the solution. Get off a line and actually get a garbage bag, pick up garbage, join a commission or a board, talk to Mayor Mike Higgins, and he can point you in the right direction. Take care of your own home would be the number one thing. Be a good citizen, peace and love to you. Come and see the Bloom Rosen Memorial Rose Garden. Thank you. Go ahead. Hello, I'm Jason Nichols, chairperson of the Lincoln Park Community Improvement Commission. Brought to you here today on Saturday, the beautiful third annual Garden Walk. Uh, the CIC, if you're wondering, uh, we do a lot of things throughout the city. Basically, our job is to improve the community. And we do that in certain ways throughout the year. The Garden Walk, we advise the Lincoln Park City Council on how to spend the CDBG funding. We also do a Halloween contest, pick a house throughout the city. What's decorated for Halloween you think the best? At the end of the, the contest run, we give an award. Uh, same thing for Christmas. We do a Christmas lights contest and or holiday lights, depending on the time of the season. Uh, so look out for those. Uh, early October will be the start of the Halloween contest. So go on the uh, Lincoln Park CIC Facebook page and nominate homes for the Halloween in October. And then beginning uh, end of November, we will be doing that also for Christmas. So uh, follow the Lincoln Park CIC Facebook page to get more information. Thank you very much.